Anthony here at WPPI, a 2018 conference, and I'm talking to Nick Huang. These are fractals, a very interesting filter for today's photographer. Welcome, Nick. Hey, uh, thanks for talking to me. No problem. Uh, tell us about what you have to offer. It's a filter. What exactly does it do? Yeah, so we sell, we've created three filters that create prismatic effects for uh, photo and video or videography. Um, so photographers use them to supplement uh, their wedding and portrait photography. They can get cool effects that uh, you know there's, uh, make their subjects look cooler, or uh, you know get reflections from the scene around them, get interesting light uh, to complement their image. Right. So you're using the existing light. So you have uh, your filter, which then they hold, right? So why don't you show us one of them? Sure. So this is our Julia filter. Julia filter. So this one creates uh, effects where you can kind of just uh, uh, totally change your subject. You can like shoot. Uh, it's popular for shooting like flowers and stuff like that, where you can just uh, get each part of the image reflecting more and more in the image. So. Okay. So show us how you would use it. Let's assume we have the camera. You would uh, grab it with the three rings. Sure. And then put it in front of the lens. Yeah. So these rings. These rings right here are just meant for holding it. You kind of hold it similar to brass knuckles. People like to joke. Uh, but you hold it with uh, one hand right here, and then you would just hold your camera. That would work. Yeah, so for example, you would just have your camera right here, and then you would hold it in front of the camera like so. And you can pivot it and change it to change the effect, because it'll just change the direction of light as it enters the lens. Right, and then each one of these filters has a different effect. That's correct. The fatter one, uh, the Pascal filter, uh, is fatter because it uh, it allows light to travel slower through the glass. So you can kind of get uh, subjects that so are. For example, this one is pretty thick, so the light can really have a lot of time to that bend is thicker, yeah. as okay. it as it goes through the and glass. It's heavier, right? It's a lot heavier, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. And um, what kind of things can you do with that one? So this one, for example, if you have like uh, interesting subject matter behind your head as the photographer, you can bend, you can turn this one to get that subject matter behind you into the scene. So maybe you have a, a subject that's in front of you, but you have like interesting trees behind your head. You can get those trees like complemented over your subject or under your subject. Okay. And there's a third one in the box. So which is the third one? Yeah. So the third one is this one. We call this the Penrose filter. So this one, uh, as you can see, it's a lot thinner. So you can use it to kind of just uh, get reflections of your subject around your subject. So if you have a person directly in the middle of the filter, it might reflect their face over and over through the filter. Right, and this one, you, you hold all three similar, right? That's correct. With the three rings, like brass knuckles. That's correct, just like brass knuckles, but don't use it as a weapon. Right. <laughs> it's not intended and, for that use. And then, so you put it in front, like you said, and then you just f figure out where the light is. And I was hitting it, and you hit the shutter. That's right. Yeah, the, bending it or uh, moving it in front of the lens will produce like vastly different effects. So you might find that bending it just perpendicular, like this, just a little bit, will produce a totally different effect. So it's very creative. So you can never get the same effect. That's correct. Depending on the light. And that's what photographers find fun. Yeah. You yep. can never duplicate it. Absolutely. Right. And there's no, there's no uh, digital filter that you can do that with, right? That's right. This is actually a lot more creative than Photoshop because with Photoshop, you have to take uh, uh, parts of the image that currently exist and like move them around and stuff. Whereas with this, it might find like the sun, which is like not in the camera near your field of view at all, but it'll take that and bring that into your, into the lens. And it's a learning tool too, for that, people that are beginning to figure out how the camera works. That's true. Yeah, the the Pascal filter is a little bit the thicker one is also a little bit difficult, more difficult to learn. But for a lot of photographers, that one's a little bit more rewarding. So they learn how the light bends as it enters the lens and all right, things so to that effect. Tell us uh, how you came up with this. I'm um, sure. So I like to say I had an Isaac Newton moment. Uh, we were, me and my buddy, we were shooting a wedding together, and uh, a crystal chandelier fell from <laughs> from the ceiling and hit me in the literally, head. Literally, literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I picked it up, and then I just started moving with it. 
uh, I looked on the internet and there oh, was wait, nothing. Oh wait, I was joking. That's <laughs> true. No, quite, true quite, story. quite literally. Well, oh. it didn't hit me in the head. It kind of like it fell just came down and, and figured buckled out. on That's the floor. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Wow. And then what? Oh uh, yeah. So I picked it up. I just started playing with it. I thought that I was getting such great effects. I thought there had to be something like this on the internet. But I looked around. I didn't find anything. And I just I started going to a glass studio, cutting things up, shaping them, seeing what I could get, and then. So one now thing led to another. Each one of these is made the same, right? So in the box, which by the way is a special today. Of yeah, so we sell a three pack online for uh, $100, but during the show we're going to sell the three pack for $75. $75 at today's uh, WPPI show for the three uh, different filters. Uh, fantastic. And so from there, you started to create uh, the product, right? Yeah, so I actually took it to Kickstarter and that was in 2015. And uh, you know that was a totally different experience. Not only did I have to create the product, I had to do all the branding, the website, the outreach. Everything. But the community is really, really helpful. So I had helpful people from F-Stoppers, uh, Photo Blogger, and a bunch of other websites promote it. And you know, because everyone is so communal, the project, the word was able to get out, and now the company is what it is Sounds today. Sounds fantastic. Uh, great, great. Tell us your website where they can reach you and get more information. Sure, it's just uh, getfractals.com. So you can go there, you can buy. You can also see a gallery where we have community-created images, and people can go and post images there, too, if they want to. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Nick. Appreciate great. it. Thanks, Thanks so much. much.